uh, well, about four years ago, I'd say. Uh, I found myself just trying to learn songs over and over again, only learning bits and pieces here and there, like whether it was one riff or like one intro, but I never really got through the whole song. So I decided to take up lessons, try and find that way to finish a song from beginning to end. So when I came in, I was just this KISS fan who wanted to learn a couple tunes, finally like get to a Freely solo and actually get through the whole thing. Uh, and eventually I did. Steve helped me out a lot with that. He helped me get through one song, but after a while you realize that it's not all about just playing somebody else's song and playing someone else's material from beginning to end. And uh, you learn to understand what you're playing instead of just doing it without questioning yourself or questioning what you're doing, really. Uh, so yeah, you come in here and a lot of the benefits basically would be learning what you're doing, really. So for example, knowing what you're doing on the fretboard. So not just looking and playing notes, not knowing what they are. Um, being able to move comfortably throughout the fretboard and playing with a certain sense of confidence, really. Um, so myself, beginning as you know, a 14-year-old who just wanted to play some rock guitar, now uh, I'd like to say I kind of evolved as a guitarist, mm. thanks to the lessons or, that I've had here. Um, so yeah, anything from just sitting down with Steve, and I've had lessons where I don't even touch the guitar, I've had lessons where I didn't even take it out of the case, where sometimes it's necessary to sit down and talk and figure out something instead of technically practicing on it. And uh, the practice is one thing, like, Steve's not going to be able to help you do everything. Uh, it takes commitment and an effort put in by on your part to really get the results that you want, right? So he can only do so much for you. What you, you need to want results and you need to want to be a good guitar player uh, to, to get to where you want to be. So uh, if Steve's going to show you something then it's your role as a guitarist and as a student of his to go home and practice that and be ready and hungry to you know absorb any new information that you're going to get the next week. Uh, yeah and on the flip side if you ever don't practice uh, as much as you're supposed to obviously like you can't expect to practice four hours a night, sometimes it's not realistic. But I mean, if you're really not putting the clear effort into your playing, frustration kicks in, uh, you end up running in circles, doing things that you've already learned, having to go back and you know study things that you don't think are necessary because you've already learned them, but in reality you haven't learned them because you're not applying them to what you're playing. And that's happened to me too, it happens to everybody. Uh, whether it's modes, when modes were introduced to me, it was like, so what, it's a major scale played off different notes, but once you realize how they can be applied to your playing, and how they can be utilized, that's when it actually motivates you to practice, because you know you're going to get results from that. I, well, the second I came into the studio, I felt like it was very welcoming to begin with. Um, I felt as if Steve was a teacher who really wanted to help you progress as a guitar player, and not only, you know, feed you what would satisfy you. He's not just giving you what you want, but he's also looking out for you and giving you what you really need as a guitar player to advance and eventually be able to play on your own without having to come back and being, you know, neutered by him constantly and constantly. And, uh, yeah, so it's really come in handy, uh, the dedication that he has to making you grow as your own guitar player and not just, you know, to fall into the mix of other guitar players. So for you to evolve as your own kind of player, I guess.